Hello guys, welcome again to Jupiter classes. As you all know that we have been doing an MCQ series, okay, on all the sections, including GK, your English, your your science, maths, economics, computer, okay. But here we are concerned with economics. In the previous video, we did MCQs on the very first chapter of your syllabus, that is introduction to economics. Here we are gonna do MCQs on monetary and fiscal policy, and this will be the part first. Okay, part one. Okay, inshallah, part two will also be uh, be delivered to you because this is the very this is the very important ch ch chapter. I, I would say this is the most important chapter. Okay, this is the most 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 important unit in your syllabus. I think one or two questions are sure from this section. Okay, there are many other sections as well which include indifference curve, elasticity of demand, uh, laws of production, uh, factor pricing, etc. But this is the most important. Okay, uh, this will be the part uh, part one, and the total number of the questions are to be twenty four. Part two will also be uh, delivered to you. Okay, but before we start the topic, I have to make uh, a very important announcement here uh, that that our Jupiter classes team have prepared uh, 150 plus tests for you, which are especially compiled, keeping in view the syllabus of FAA exam. Okay, and uh, some of the uh, some of these tests are uh, mock test, and some of them are are sectional test. But we have been we have been running uh, we have been running a, a special offer that is Navratri offer. As per this offer, you can purchase these 150 plus tests with only rupees 99. What you have to do? Firstly, you are supposed to have our Android application that is Jupyter Classes. If you have, there is no problem. If you don't, then the link is there in the description box. Go and download it. Okay. Then open the app and use the coupon code there. And the coupon code is Navratri off. Okay. If you will use this coupon code, then you can purchase these 150 plus test with only rupees 99. 99 is nothing, yaar. Nothing. Okay, and these 150 plus tests are, I think, everything for you. This could be the last chance for uh, last chance for, for for many of you watching the video. Okay, so uh, before starting the uh, before starting uh, the MCQs, okay, uh, there is a one question for you that you guys are supposed to answer. Okay, and that question is what is budget? This is directly linked with the current affairs. What is budget? Your guys are supposed. You guys are supposed to answer answer this question, and the answer must be there in uh, the description box. Okay. Now the first question is: What percent of tax does government earn through direct taxes? Okay. There are two types of taxes. That is direct tax and indirect tax. <coughs> Sorry. And the question is that: What percentage of the tax? <coughs> Sorry, yeah. What percent of tax does government earn through direct taxes? And the options are 48% and 52%. And the answer of this question is 52%. That is 52% of the, of the taxes are earned through direct taxes and, and the rest, that is 48% are earned through indirect taxes. Guys, before I answer the question, please, please you try to attempt the question. This will, this will, this will let you know where you stand. Okay. Question number two is, how could the RBI encourage banks to lend out more of their reserves? This is the question of monetary policy. How can RBI encourage banks to lend out more of their reserves? Okay, and the options are reduce the discount rate, decrease the CRR and SLR. CRR means cash reserve ratio and SLR means statutory liquidity <coughs> ratio. And the third option is increase the bank rate and reduce the supply and what is the answer and the answer is decrease the crr and slr when the crr and slr will be decreased the lending capacity of the banks will be increased so um, more the lending capacity more will more will be lended out Take, and when the more will be lended out it will decrease the interest rate it will decrease the interest rate and the investment will take place at uh, at an uh, at an majority level okay Question number three, open market operations are, this is also related to your monetary policy and the, uh, and the options are the process by which money enters into circulation, reserves 
greater than the required amounts the buying and the selling of the government securities to alter the supply of money and the rate of interest banks charge in short term loans to 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 their best customers and the option uh, and the option number three is the correct that is uh, that is open market operations are the buying and the selling of the government securities to change or to alter the supply of money okay question number four question number four is the rate the rbi charges banks for a long term loan is bank rate repo rate reverse repo rate okay the question is that what is the rate as per which as per which the rbi gives loan to the banks we can say to the commercial banks for the longer term and the answer to this question is bank rate okay what question number 5 is what is repo rate in india what is repo rate in india in percent and the options are 4% 4.2% 4.24% 18% and 3.33% okay and the answer of this question is 4.24% is the repo rate in india question number 6 a plan to reduce aggregate demand and slow the inflation how can you reduce aggregate demand so that you can uh, slow the inflation inflation is a sustained increase in the prices okay so what wh what sort of fiscal policy are you going to adopt to do this options are contract uh, contractionary fiscal policy expansionary fiscal policy contractionary monetary policy and expansionary monetary policy and the option number a is the correct contractionary fiscal policy that is contractionary fiscal policy means when when you, uh, when the aggregate demand is to be reduced so as to uh, so as to slow the inflation you have to decrease the you have to decrease the government expenditure contractionary fiscal policy means decrease in government expenditure and increase in taxes increase in taxes means that when the when the when there will be increase in the taxes the disposable income of the people will be increased will increase okay oh sorry the disposable income of the people will decrease due to which their their uh, their uh, their consuming capacity will decrease and this will uh, this will directly increase the decrease the aggregate demand due to which we can slow down the inflation question number 7 is which of the following refers to the government revenue spending and debt and the options are fractional reverse uh, reserve banking regal reserves fiscal and reverse system and the option number 3 is the correct answer that is fiscal okay question number 8 oh budget deficit met by printing new money is called monetization of budget deficit is it true or false okay budget deficit occurs when the when the spending is more than the revenue keep that in mind when the spending when the spending is more that is kharcha kharcha uh, rupaya amdani athani aur kharcha rupaya when the spending is more okay then revenue then the budget deficit occurs and the, and the and when better but and when this budget deficit is met by printing new money what is it called is it called monetization of budget de deficit is it true or false so it is true okay question number 9 during a recession which of the following is likely to occur recession is a state of economy a state of economy theek hai in which all the economic activities are dip whether it is your income whether it is your employment whether it is interest rates okay whether it is income all these variables are low okay so to get out of this uh, to, uh, uh, sorry so during a recession what of the following is likely to occur theek hai an increase in real wages an increase in production and increase in the gdp growth rate and increase in the unemployment rate and the option number 4 is the correct and increase in the unemployment rate theek hai when there is a recession in the economy employment rate will yani yani employment will increase okay question number unemployment in, will increase in fact question number 10 if the central government is attempting to attempting to encourage spending by consumers and businesses a fiscal policy best serving this purpose would be okay i would repeat the question if the central government is attempting attempting to encourage spending by the consumers and businesses a fiscal policy best serving this purpose would be the options are decreasing taxes decreasing government spending 
reducing the increase investment tax credit and balance and balancing the budget and the option number a is the correct decreasing the taxes okay when the taxes will be decreased disposable income of the people will increase it means that their 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 spending capacity will increase and when the spending capacity will increase aggregate demand will increase which is everything which is the soul of employment which is the soul of employment which is which is the soul of economic growth and economic development aggregate demand positive aggregate demand uh, effective aggregate demand okay so the option number a is correct question number 11 a budget deficit occurs when 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 does a budget deficit occur when the government brings in more revenue than it spends for a given year or the government spends more money than it brings in for a fiscal year okay and the option number b is the correct when the government spends more money than it brings in for a fiscal year in india fiscal year starts starts from 1st april and ends in 31st march okay and the question number 12, 12 is the expansion are the contraction of the money supply in order to influence the cost and the availability of the credit is i will repeat the question the expansion or the contraction of the money supply in order to influence the cost and the availability of the credit is monetary policy fiscal policy contractionary policy expansionary policy and the option number a is the correct that is monetary policy the expansion and the contraction of money supply which is in the hands of central bank is called the monetary policy okay question number 13 which of the following is true regarding direct taxes okay and the options are its burden is shifted its burden is not shifted it increases with the increase in income it decreases with the decrease in income and the option number b is the correct that is its burden can't be shifted direct tax are those tax taxes which are paid by the which are paid by the body on which it has been imposed it can't be shifted its burden can't be shifted okay now move to next question question number 14 custom duty is a tax tax sorry custom duty is a tax charge on the goods produced domestically imported from other countries and the option number b is the correct theek hai custom duty is that tax which which is charged on the goods that are imported from other countries okay now move to the next question that is question number 15 and the question number 15 is that banks and the other financial institution must keep a fraction of their deposit in the form of legal reserves called okay there is a method or there is a technique in india as per which the banks and the other financial institutions are are are, are supposed to keep a part or a fraction of their total deposit in the form of legal reserves and this and this technique is called and the options are crr msf or slr and the option is crr that is cash reserve ratio okay question number 16 if the employment rate is too low now listen carefully if the employment rate is too low the rbi should die dash the funds rate if the employment rate is too low what should rbi what should rbi do to increase um, employment rate so it means that it should it should decrease the funds rate because when the when the funds rate it means the it means the interest rate on the loans will, when the interest rate on the loans will be decreased more the investors and more the businessmen will borrow the money to invest in 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 their investment projects which will increase the employment okay so this is very simple and it was very easy question question number 17 if inflation is too high now what is inflation sustained increase in prices for a, okay if inflation is too high the rbi should die dash the funds what should uh, what should what should rbi do to curtail the inflation it should decrease uh, so, uh, the option uh, answer is not there but it should decrease the funds it should decrease the money supply because when the money supply will be decrease uh, when when uh, and the demand is still uh, the same but money supply has been increased okay the demand for money is still the same but the demand uh, demand but the supply of it is decreased due to which the the rate or the interest rate will increase and most of the investor will be discouraged will be discouraged to 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 borrow the money from the bank and to invest okay this will curtail the inflation question number 18 what is reverse repo rate options are it is the rate at which central bank give loan to commercial banks or it is the rate at which central bank receives loans from this commercial banks and the answer is option number b 
okay it is the rate at which central banks receives loans from the commercial banks what is reverse repo rate what is repo rate repo rate is the rate at which central bank uh, central bank gives loan to commercial banks for shorter uh, period of time and the reverse repo rate is the rate at which commercial banks give loan to com uh, to central bank okay question number 19 is what is bank rate in india in 2021 2021 What is the bank rate in India? Options are three point three three percent, four percent, four point two four percent, and the option number three is the correct. Four point two four percent is the bank rate in India in two thousand twenty one. Question number twenty: Fiscal policy is the means by which the government keeps the economy stable through taxes and expenditure. Is it true or false? fiscal policy is is a mean through which or by which government keeps to, keeps the economy stable through taxes and expenditure and it, it is quite true it is true okay question number 21 a balanced budget happens in a country when fiscal spending is equal to fiscal revenue simply a, ba a balanced budget happens when fiscal yeah when spending is equal to revenue is it true or false so it is quite true it is true when spending is equal to when spending is equal to uh, the the income there is balanced budget yaar question number 22 the bank in india that regulates the monetary system the most easy question options are rbi sba and pnb and the answer is rbi that is reserve bank of india regulates the monetary system in india to regulate the economy so as uh, the desired economic goals can be achieved okay the question number 23 and the question number 23 is when the rbi buys government securities bonds on the open market what af what effect does this action have on the nation's money supply and aggregate demand is actually this okay and the options are money supply increases aggregate demand increases money supply increases aggregate demand decreases money supply decreases aggregate demand increases money supply decreases and aggregate demand increases i will repeat the question when the rbi buys government securities bonds on the open market okay what effect does this action have on the nation's money supply and aggregate demand and the option number Oh sorry money supply increases and aggregate demand increases that is the option number 1 is correct when when the government when the rbi buy government securities and bonds from open market what means it infuse the it infuse the money it infuse the money into the into the money uh, into uh, into circulation so this means that it will increase the money supply and when the money supply is increases it increases the aggregate demand and how you you know that very well question number 24 in monetary policy rbi can adopt including all of the following except and the options are raising the discount rate buying government bonds lowering the reserve requirement and raising personal income tax rate and the option number d is i mean option number 4 is the correct so guys this was the topic if you found this video worthy then please yaar like it share it because your support is everything for us it is your support which will keep us surviving it is your support which sustains us if you don't support us how can we sustain okay do like do share and subscribe our channel okay milte hain next video mein till then bye